for start, amino OS is, is something that has evolved over um, the lifetime of amino. You know, so it's an extremely mature platform backed up by a, a very talented, skilled set of engineers um, that, that know this sort of stuff inside out. Um, so you've got a, a good, strong, robust platform. Um, I, I think the pre-integration is a significant benefit for, um, for new customers. Um, we have a very large number of customers with a very large number of different ecosystems of components. So, you know, it, it's quite rare that I come across a, a particular component that's used in this industry that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and that contrasts with some um, of our competitors, even really quite large ones, because um, our focus has been on um, the, the medium to small tier of customers. And therefore, we've got a very large number of customers, whereas maybe some of our competitors have a small number of very large customers. Um, they don't have the exposure to the same level of, of um, diversity in the ecosystem that we have, probably don't have exposure to the, the, the diversity in networks that we see. So we tend to be able to get uh, a new platform deployed really quite quickly um, and make it robust out of the box. Um, and then put on top of that the features we put into Amino OS to um, reduce the total cost of ownership, um, making sure we've got a, a management platform that supports self-install, self-install wizards, um, and then the customer service tools. Um, so, you know, one that's that's really appreciated by our customers is our um, service and support module that um, there's a lot of features, but one thing that, that customers and, and customer service love is actually being able to log on to a device in the field through their browser um, and view the user interface and have a soft remote control in the browser where they can navigate on behalf of the customer um, and actually talk our, their subscribers through you know, the issue, how to fix it. Because a lot of um, the faults that are reported by customers are, are things like configuration settings that are wrong on the device, AV settings that they need to change um, for their particular TV, et cetera. Um, and just having that remote access often prevents um, the need for things like a truck roll. So this sort of attention to the life cycle of the device um, reduces its cost of ownership. And so it's no longer just about hardware, it's about understanding what our customers need through the, the entire deployment cycle of the device. Um, and using that to reduce the costs of managing that.